What's up, Joe? What's going on, Craig? <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while, people. Um, so we're back. So we are back. Um, took a little bit of a break. So we took a break, and, and <laughs> well, I guess we should become clean. We had some technical issues with some of the recording. We so did. We did record a lot of episodes, but unfortunately, I had to get trashed because there's some technical difficulty. So yeah, either it didn't we, look good, or the sound yeah, wasn't right. And... So we actually upgraded our main camera, and I'm hoping to God, Joe, please, God. <laughs> I hope it's better quality. I hope than what so we too. Have. We'll find out because we're kind of excited about that. We got a cool new camera. Um, we're trying to come back with a vengeance here. Yes. So uh, we need you to subscribe because we will be back. <laughs> really apologize for the hiatus, but oh, coffee! How can we forget? Cheers. We're back. Welcome Some coffee. Back. Yeah. Cheers. Join us. Ah, it's good coffee. So yeah. So we are back in um, Music Man land here, Joe. I have a Dark Lord, Steve Morse. Um, made, well, it's a Steve Morse, but it's really intended for Joe Bonamassa, right? Isn't that the story behind that? Yeah, so uh, Joe Bonamassa, I believe he was doing Black Country Communion, which was yep. one of his side projects. Sure. And uh, he wanted, uh, you know, a Steve Morse model guitar, and they built him something custom. And as you can see, it's, you know, you got the, uh, the black see-through sort of paint job there with the clear pick guard, which is kind of cool. Chrome hardware. Uh, you have the reverse headstock, which yep. is unique to this model. Yeah, only. yeah, that's different. I mean, you can tell the... So Music Man always has that unique headstock to begin with. The four and the four two. four and a two. Right. And this one is, uh, like it's you reverse. mentioned, flip-flop, which is totally different. And um, that's the only model that I'm aware of yeah, that actually I, they released with I them. haven't seen one like that anywhere. I think the only other difference between this model and a traditional Steve Morse Y2D, because there's two yep. Steve Morse models, right? Mm -hmm. There's the, the regular Steve Morse with 800 pickups. 1,000 pickups. Pick <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it's like the strings are actually like magnetically <laughs> attached to the pickups. Right, right. <laughs> and then there's the Y2D, which is a little bit more stripped down. This is based off the Y2D. Uh, again, the difference between this and a traditional Y2D, I believe, is the neck carve. This has a little bit more of a chunky neck. Yeah, it's bulky. I was just kind of messing around before it feels great though i mean the the finish on it's unbelievable check it out this guitar is beautiful i love yeah. the i mean the black just, and chrome it looks so nice the the clear pick guard to show the you know so you have the pick guards protecting the paint but you can see through it looks great the chrome looks great it's a beautiful guitar and this is a ball family reserve guitar also right yep. and so is this yep. and, and i know we've mentioned it in other episodes mm -hmm. Uh, Ball Family Reserve, if you don't know, if you haven't watched the other episodes or, or did a little bit of research, uh, it's sort of the best of the best that Ernie Ball Music Man produces, originally intended for their family, family. friends, and You're artists, sure. yep. and then they release them to the public, and they usually limited runs. This guitar is a limited edition. I don't know how many were produced. Right. I believe it was made around 2010-ish, 2010, 2012. Yep, that's about right. Uh, if somebody knows, let us know. I don't know. I, I think maybe a thousand, maybe. I'm guessing. Yeah, uh, which maybe is less. kind of a pretty substantial run for a BFR. I know a lot of times those BFRs are 100 or 70, but right. you know that one may be more available. They are cool. They look great. It's not for me. It's not very comfortable of a guitar sitting here just mm -hmm. holding it. Like this part is. It's not rounded. In. It's not mm -hmm. round. I love that contour. You know, I always talk about how I like the guitar to feel like it's not there. Sure. This guitar feels like it's there. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's but it's beautiful. I'll tell you that much. Um, yeah, so let's hear it. Now, pickup configuration real yes. quick. You have the Steve Morse uh, in the bridge and in the neck. Steve Morse model, the Marzios. Mm -hmm. And then this, I believe, is, uh, if it's not a standard Ernie Ball, it's it's just a standard single from the Marzio. It's not any model that I was able right, to yeah. find. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah. All right. Let's check her out. <laughs> <laughs> You're waiting for that. Yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm just gonna let it ride on a chord. Right. No shreddy stuff. It doesn't feel like a shreddy guitar. Yeah. For me. The neck is really. Well, you know what? Bonamassa is a blues player. Yeah. A lot well, of his he, guitars but, are the yeah. old Les Pauls, the fat necks. So. And yeah, and it, it kind of reminds me of that. Just the contour of it here, you know, and, the, and maybe just the binding and stuff reminds me. It's kind of less polish in its own little way. And I don't know if you've ever done any research on these music maids you might have, but the way they do the binding is really unique also. They pour it. I did hear about yeah, that. Yeah, which is yep. pretty cool. It is cool. You know, like traditional binding is wrapped, glued and yep. wrapped, mm -hmm. and this is a poured resin yeah. into well, a they, mold. You know, is... Music Man is always like, they take everything to the they next do. level. They do. Right? They're just, that's their thing. I, I got to say, they're probably my favorite guitar brand right now. I think, you know, their yeah. output right now is really... Yeah. Next level great. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, across the, you know, all the models. They prim primarily have artist model guitars. Sure. But they're all different and they're all really good. They're mm -hmm. all great. Yeah. I mean, you know, we, we reviewed some of the uh, Petrucci models. Yep. Right, which are amazing. totally different and all amazing. Amazing, yeah. And even like, so they have the Axis, right? That's one of their mm -hmm. models. And that was, even though it's not an artist model, yes. it was the EVH, EVH really, when you think right. about it, before he left and went with the Wolfgang. That was really an artist model. Sure. So, yeah. And I did a cutlass now. The cutlass is a really cool right. one. And that's, uh, I forget the guy's name, that shred guy, the uh, uh, Richardson, right? Yes. Jason Richardson. Yes. Yeah. Great guitar player and they cool. Have the same guitar. Vincent guitar, which is same really Vincent. cool. Yeah. So they are, they do a lot of the Albert Lee. Series, they so. have, they have yeah. a lot of them. Yeah. So. And this is another one. So this is a, an, a Luke, right? But it's an L3. This is a 2015. Uh, this is a BFR as well. Uh, Ball Family Reserve. Uh, this has obviously a flame maple top. You have um, alder body, mm -hmm. and there's a mahogany tone block in here underneath the pickups as well. And what's the battery for? Is there a preamp in there? There certainly is. Cool. There's a 12 dB nice. push push preamp here, nice. which is awesome. Uh, you know, if you're in a scenario a situation where you don't have a pedal or you just need a little bit of more, a little bit more, Love whether it. it's clean or whether it's for gain, it's right there. Yeah, a little sustain. Yeah. It's awesome. Uh, one thing we forgot to mention here, which is probably the most, uh, or the, the key piece of, what am I saying, Craig? <laughs> what the key piece? I'm trying to find the word. <laughs> Are we getting at the, uh, what, what are you getting at? I'm getting at the roasted maple Yeah, leaf. yeah, it's, it's right? sick. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find a word that, <laughs> that, you know, tells everybody how great the roasted maples are. We, which yeah, we've, and we've discussed this in the past. We There's have. no better feel. They win. They just win yeah. all day long. 100%. Uh, this neck has a soft V shape back here and then tapers off, gets flatter. I think this is a 12 inch uh, radius on this guy. So when you were at a loss for words, I thought you were getting at the truss rod adjustment. I started with that. I was thinking about that. That's, yeah, that's one of my favorite, favorite features. That's I your love favorite that. feature. Yep. This has DiMarzio transition pickups in here. Uh, the prior Luke models used active pickups, whether they were EMG or mm -hmm. whatever. Uh, for the L3s, they went back to, uh, you know, regular sure. pickups. Nice. Um, but yeah, and this guy, it just sounds great. <laughs> check that one out sure let's trade them let's switch gear all right <laughs> say how's your volume is it you volume losing the volume yeah now? no I, i'm actually this is okay it's just quite enough out of the way uh -huh. it wasn't so bad but to me this is like a shreddier guitar yeah, oh like it time. just feels as soon as you pick it up you want to play yeah differently yes. than on that one um i'm gonna tell you right now playability wise this one wins i, I agree so but go ahead uh, you know <laughs> Yeah. So I'm 
going to stand by that. I'm going to say aesthetically that one wins, although this isn't a bad looking guitar by any right. means, but that's just special. Playability, I think this one wins. Even sound wise, I kind of dig this tone coming yeah, out. Yeah, I do too. So, um, <laughs> this is very much a, a chord. Yep, exactly. Guitar, that's why I So verdict is this guy Luke, wins. Luke yeah, he wins. wins for me too. Yeah, but I mean, they're all awesome, and and we say this every time we pick a winner. We're like, well, yeah, but they're but the both. Yeah, yeah, because they're all good instruments. They it's are. not like we're, really we're picking up junk and comparing them. He's a good instrument. Right. So right. It's just again, these are our opinions. Someone right. could pick that up and say, you know, maybe they got hands, their fingers are this long, and it's freaking <laughs> awesome, you know. Exactly. But for me, uh, you know, I have to go by my gut, and my gut's telling me the Luke all the way. But aesthetically, I like the Dark Lord better. That's the deal. Cool. All right. There you have it, guys. We're back. Subscribe. It's over there. All right. We'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.